Hey, what's going on my friends? Patrick here, back today with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about and comparing Splice and Output Arcade, two seriously powerful tools for producers, beat makers, and songwriters alike. Now, this is a long requested follow-up to my I used Splice for one year video. I've personally been subscribed to Splice and Output Arcade each for over two years. And like my last video, this video is not sponsored in any way. I like both of these platforms a lot, and my goal today is to help you figure out which one of these is right for you. So that's enough intro, let's get into the comparison. Now at their core, Splice and Output Arcade both offer huge royalty-free sample libraries filled with loops and one-shots, ranging through a variety of genres, styles, instruments, and kit pieces. Loops and samples are really, really powerful tools that can be used in a variety of different ways. But when you're working with sample libraries like the ones offered in Splice or in Output Arcade, you could pretty much kiss writer's block goodbye. Now, while both of these platforms are pretty similar in their fundamentals, I guess, they're vastly different in their operation and in how you use them. Splice and Output Arcade both function pretty differently, so let's take a look at some differences. Splice is a cloud-based music creation platform and website. It does pair with a desktop app, which allows you to access any samples or loops that you've downloaded. And it also allows you to browse other samples, loops, kit pieces, things like that. Sample packs are not only created and curated by Splice, but they also feature some well-known artists and producers like Boy Wanda, Chromio, and Oliver, just to name a few of my personal favorites. Now, two features that I think really set Splice apart are the instrument presets and rent to own. Now, as far as I can tell, the instrument presets for now only apply to Massive, Serum, Silenth, and Spire, but most of us own Serum and there are some seriously dope Serum presets on Splice. A personal favorite of mine is the Heavenly Keys with Eric Butler pack. Not only is Heavenly Keys a fully fledged sample pack, but it also has dozens of amazing keys presets for Serum. I honestly find so many of my favorite Serum presets through Splice, and I rarely hear this feature being talked about, so I wanted to bring it up. Now, the rent to own feature is another really great aspect of Splice where you can pay a small monthly fee for a particular plugin, and you pay that month to month until the plugin is paid in full. They've got a ton of great plugins in there that you can rent to own. They've got RC20, they've got the newly released Arturia V Collection 8, a couple of my personal favorites, but it's a really great feature to help get you access to some of the best plugins that are out there without having to shell out all of the cash up front. Splice currently offers a number of different subscription plans or tiers. Obviously, the more money you pay, the more credits you get access to each month, and you will use those credits in exchange for sample downloads. Sample downloads usually cost one credit, while things like preset downloads will cost you a little more, three credits. Personally, I use Splice on a pretty regular basis, and I have always subscribed at the $7.99 payment tier. Even at that lowest payment tier, I always find that I have way more credits than I need, and I always have credits at the end of every month rolling over. Before we move on to Arcade, I just wanna show you a few quick examples of how I like to use Splice. One of the simplest ways, and one of my favorite ways to use Splice, is to simply grab a drum loop, drag it into a new session, and start creating on top of that drum loop. In the case of this track here, I had this new MIDI guitar that I was dying to use and wanting to play around with, and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time building out a drum track from scratch. So I went into Splice, I poked around a little bit, and I found this drum loop that I really, really liked. You can see here, I pretty much just dragged it into my Logic session, cut up the parts that I liked, and I had my drum part ready to go. And I started building out this track on top of it. If I did wanna go and develop this track further, I could of course add to the drum beat, but the drum loop in and of itself sounds complete. It doesn't really sound like it needs much of anything. You can see I didn't really EQ this all that much. And I just added a little 
RC20 to it, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a lo-fi vibe. And just as a little side note, the keys presets that I used in Serum are presets that I got from the Heavenly Keys pack in Splice that I was referencing earlier, but here's a little sample of the track. So this track is a good example of how using Splice can help jumpstart your creative process. I remember on this particular day, I was having a bit of trouble trying to come up with an interesting idea or a direction for a track, anything at all. So I started just browsing through Splice, listening to some different samples, trying to get inspired, and I ended up finding this keys part. I loved it, so I popped it into Splice and quickly came up with some bass and some drum parts. Then I just quickly figured out the chords on the acoustic guitar, put those down. And finally, I had this previously downloaded sample that I found on Splice, and I was dying to use it in a track. I just found it one day when I was browsing through Splice, and I loved it. I actually added a few different layers of this sample, and I think it fit the vibe of the track perfectly. <laughs> Now Arcade, in my opinion, has taken working with samples a step further. The Arcade sample library is accessed from an Arcade plugin within your digital audio workstation. Once you load up the Arcade plugin, you're free to browse through the latest kits, browse through different curated lists, or browse by genre, or as Arcade calls them, lines. Arcade will organize a batch of different samples into a particular kit. Once you load up a kit, you have 15 different samples within that kit to choose from and play with. Each kit also comes preloaded with four different effects that allow you to manipulate the sound of your samples. You can even edit these samples pretty extensively. Arcade will automatically retime each of these samples to fit your project's beats per minute. And you can also tell Arcade to automatically pitch shift each sample to fit whatever key that you've selected within the Arcade plugin. This workflow makes it super easy to play Arcade along with whatever track you're working on. You can even use a MIDI keyboard to trigger the different 15 samples in your kit and really just get into the vibe of your track. You can mix and match different samples from different kits and create your own kit. And you can even bring your own samples into Arcade to use within the Arcade plugin. Now each kit belongs to a line and lines are kind of genres or in the style of categories. You have some lines that are categorized by the sounds of a particular decade, like 60s, 70s, and 80s. And you also have lines that capture a particular sound or style. The Nashville line, for example, captures that live instrumental sound that Music City is best known for. And the After Hours line, for example, hosts samples that would be heard in club type music. The more that you get familiar with Arcade, the more you'll become familiar with these lines and finding the sounds that you're looking for. Personally, I absolutely love this format. The workflow is really, really fluid and the way the plugin integrates with your DAW and your project is really seamless. Arcade is being updated all the time with new kits, new lines. So there's like always something new to check out. You always have a reason 
to open the plugin and see what's going on. The $10 a month price tag is a little bit higher than what I wish it was. Don't get me wrong, the constant updates and the new content that's added to Arcade regularly definitely do justify the price tag. I really like this platform and for the time being, I'm a happy subscriber, but there is a part of me that feels like Arcade is a luxury rather than a necessity. Does that make sense? But with all that said, here are a few examples of how I like to use Arcade. A lot of times when I'm using Arcade, I find that I'm using it to add to a track rather than kind of get the ideas flowing or start a new idea. And in the case of this track, I had pretty much everything recorded and arranged, and I just wasn't quite happy with the drum beat. I had this hi-hat part that was just feeling a little too programmed, a little too stiff. So I started browsing through Arcade. I found a little drum loop that I liked. I then exported the sample into my Logic session, chopped it up to my liking. I took out a lot of the kick drums. I then pitch shifted the sample, and I also filtered out some of the low end and just did a little bit of EQing. And I came up with this. So this one little sample really transformed this drum beat and gave the whole track an entirely different feel. In this example, I was a little limited in the gear that I had available to me. I was on a trip. All I brought with me was an acoustic guitar and a mini MIDI keyboard. So I wasn't in my studio and I didn't have the gear that I usually use to make music with. I did, however, want to make a beat that kind of matched the adventure and the excitement of the trip I was on and all of the exploring around Costa Rica that we were doing. I also didn't have a ton of time to complete this project, about a day. So once I had the guitar, the bass, and the keys parts that I wanted, I relied pretty heavily on Arcade to help me round out the remainder of this track. So all of these samples down here in green are all stuff that I found in Arcade. Up here, I found some synth parts a little side-chained par, an arpeggio, all stuff that really fit the track well. And this last little sample that I found in Arcade was just kind of a funky little electric guitar riff. I didn't have an electric with me, so this fit the song really well. All in all, super happy with how this one turned out and Arcade really saved the day on this one. So one last example I wanted to show you is an example of a fully finished song. This is my single Morning Light. And if we come down here to the drum beat, I used a lot of loops and samples from both Splice and Arcade. This top line I got from Arcade, this Oliver percussion sample I got from Splice. This record scratch sample is a Boy Wanda sample from Splice as well. I even found some percussion stuff in Arcade that I really liked. This wind chime sample up here, I also got from Splice. And this is probably the best representation of how I actually use both of these platforms. I don't use just one or just the other. This song started out with just kick and snare and 
some claps up here. So needless to say, the drum beat needed a little bit of help, and, and I was able to really round out the overall vibe of the track by just adding a few loops and samples. Here's a little sample of the full track. If it's over, don't look over your shoulder. Prepare what you're leaving behind. If you wanna stay, the night's colder. Don't mean it's really over. We fade in the morning light. If you wanna stay. So, in conclusion, my friends, I think both of these platforms definitely have a lot to offer. For the price, I think Splice is pretty tough to beat. It's a great value, and it's more than just a massive, massive sample library. And as for Arcade, the workflow and overall usability of this sample library slash plugin slash synthesizer, I guess, is really second to none if you ask me. If you enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like and a comment down below. It really does make a big, big difference. It's something you can do for free to help out my channel. So thank you in advance, guys. That's gonna wrap it up, my friends. It's been a pleasure as always getting to hang with you today. Until next time, my name's Patrick. I'll catch you guys real soon, all right? Peace.